Welcome to week number nine of the Acadiana Post Game High School Football Forecast. I know, time flies, right? Best thing is, we've saved the best games for last. Weeks nine and 10 are absolutely packed with action. But before we get into that, we have to reverse the clock and look at our players of the week from last week. We're gonna start this week with the winner of our Twitter poll, Eric Tolliver, the people's champ. Karen Crow's wide receiver went off against the north side with a punt return touchdown and a receiving touchdown. And I wanted to give him love too because he's a prototypical college wide receiver. If you're a recruiter and you haven't called Eric Tolliver's family yet, you might want to do it. Up next, we have Paul Laborde from STM. That's right, I'm finally giving love to a defender. He's in the top 10 in the state in tackles, and he led the Cougars defense in a huge win over Turlings. In the game, he had a pick six that flipped the game on its head, and he forced a fumble too. Do work, Paul. And then I have to give love to Diallo Landry from Catholic High, New Iberia. He has the Panthers at eight and O, and he's only a junior too. Last week against Opelousas Catholic, he called his own shot. He went to head coach Brent Indest and said, coach, we're running this play because we're gonna score. And guess what? They did. Finally, I wanna give an honorable mention to Zach Clement from LCA who's putting up stupid numbers. He could win every single week. And to Nate Cox. So far this season, he has 28 touchdowns and two interceptions. Count them, two. Wow. Coming up next, we have the Civil War. Let's go, baby. They call the rivalry game between Brobridge and Cecilia the Civil War for a reason. These two teams hate each other and so do their fan bases. If mama went to Brobridge and daddy went to Cecilia, they're gonna sit on opposite sides of the stands this week. Also, to sweeten the deal, it's for the District 5-4A title. All Brobridge has to do is beat Cecilia and they have it clinched. Cecilia has to beat Brobridge and St. Martinville, but we'll take those one game at a time. Cecilia has improved every single week with quarterback Corey Williams and his two targets on the outside. Noah Livings and Caleb Carter are absolutely massive and you can't double team them both. With Brobridge though, ever since Julian Leon got benched against St. Martinville, he's been absolutely on fire, leading the Tigers to a couple consecutive wins. His wide receiver Tyrick Davis is about 6'4", and he uses his basketball skills to go up and get the ball. I think I could talk about this game for another hour, but we have to move on to game number two. Lafayette Christian Academy and Ascension Episcopal both haven't been around for that long, but their rivalry is rapidly growing. The Knights would love to knock Ascension Episcopal off their block as the Blue Gators are 8-0 on the season and trying to clinch a district title outright. Ascension has to go through LCA and Central Catholic to finish out the season, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. LCA is led by Zach Clement, who I mentioned is putting up crazy numbers all season long. He can run, pass, and hurt the defense in any way possible. And when you look at Ascension Episcopal, Jake Vasquez, who might not talk too much, but his numbers do all the talking for him. This game is going to feature a lot of talent at the 1A level, so if you're a fan of either team or just a football fan, make sure you make it out to LCA because the Knights might sell out by Tuesday. Game number three might be two out of area teams, but it affects the Acadiana Rec and Rams. We have Sulphur versus Barb in District 3-5A. Since the LHSAA stole a win from Acadiana, they're hoping that Barb can beat Sulphur and create a three-way tie at the top of District 3-5A. But if the Tours win, guess what? They are on their way to clinch the district title. Now, be prepared for some points in this game. They might break the scoreboard. With Barb having Gavin Nettles and Kirkland Banks and Sulphur led by Jacoby Skinner in that huge offensive line, who knows, this score could be 50-something to 60-something at the end of the game. I also want to give an honorable mention to Kaplan versus Erath in 8-3A, as Kaplan is undefeated, but Erath has Elijah Mitchell and would love to stop them. Remember, you can listen to a couple games here on Town Square Media Radio Waves as well. On Newstalk 96.5 KPEL, we'll have the Lafayette High Mighty Lions. The Acadiana Wreck and Rams have the week off. And then if you want to listen to the Ascension game versus LCA, it'll be over on Talk Radio 960. Oh, and you guys should already know, Bro Bridge versus Cecilia on Planet Radio 105.1. And remember, high school football lives at AcadianaPostGame.com.